Hello everyone and welcome back again to U.S. Defense. In today's episode, we will discuss about Navy and Marine Corps Pictoian research to provide aircraft electronic warfare EW, and embedded computing. Before watching, please like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Airborne electronic warfare experts at Toyon Research Corp. in Golda, California, will provide the U.S. Navy and Marine Corps with EW capability for fixed-wing aircraft, helicopters, and unmanned aerial vehicles UAV under terms of an $11.7 million five-year contract announced last week. Officials of the, the Naval Air Warfare Center Weapons Division at China Lake Naval Weapons Station in Ridgecrest, California, are asking Toyon Research to provide an ENA LQ-231V Intrepid Tiger IT-2 family of systems production hardware and engineering support. The Intrepid Tiger 2 EW pod and embedded computing subsystem provides airborne electronic warfare and electronic attack communications jamming capability for Navy and Marine Corps fixed-wing aircraft helicopters, UAV, ground-based systems, and laboratories. The contract calls for Toyon Research to provide 24 v. 4 maintenance stands, 18 v. 4 radio frequency RF coupler sets, FT, 18 v. 4 RF coupler sets, forward, 7 IT 2 v. 3 direction finding array RF coupler sets, and 7 IT 2 v. 3 RF couplers. In 2012, Navy officials designated the NALQ-231V Intrepid Tiger II as a rapid deployment capability to provide critical aircraft electronic attack capability to ground forces, Navy officials say. General Microsystems Inc. GMS, in Rancho Cucamonga, California, provides the company's S902R Golden I-3 and S905R Raider III rugged processor and data storage systems for the ANA LQ-231V. GMS is the original source of the system's rugged general-purpose processors and is the only company that can provide processors and components without a substantial duplication of cost to the government, Navy officials say. The GMS Golden I-3 is designed to provide rugged embedded computing for defense and U of E applications, as well as industrial and commercial applications, GMS officials say. It is widely deployed in Army vehicles, robots, and U of E, and works with the Windows 7, Linux, and VX works operating systems. The S902R Golden I-3 small lightweight computer is conduction cooled and sealed and operates in temperatures from minus 40 to 85 degrees Celsius without throttling, GMS officials say. The computer is based on the Intel i7 core processor with as many as four physical CPU cores, as much as 16 gigabytes of SDRM. The S902R supports as many as five gigabit Ethernet channels with TCP IP offloading engine, six USB 2.0 ports, as many as four removable 2.5-inch solid-state drives, eight buffered digital I.O. lines, dual video, four COM ports with RS-232-422-485 options, and an audio headset jack with a 1-watt audio amplifier to drive an Atom speaker. The GoldenEye computer measures 5.38 by 6.88 by 2.13 inches, weighs 3.25 pounds, and consumes as little as 25 watts of power. The GMS S905R Raider 3 also is a rugged computer for defense and U of the applications that is designed for applications where a rugged computer is needed to provide the best possible performance per dollar per watt, GMS officials say. The Raider 3 supports the Intel i7 core processor and runs on the CN bus and MILSTD, 1,553 data abuses. Like its golden eye cousin, it operates in temperatures from minus 40 to 85 C. It is a fanless system that can be mounted directly to a metal surface or be used as a standalone system. It measures 5.5 by 5.5 by 1.24 inches, weighs 1.9 pounds, and runs on as little as 25 watts of power. Toyon Research specializes in technology development and defense systems analysis, with a focus on antennas and RF systems, aerospace systems, RF products, ISR algorithms, Homeland Security, and autonomous systems. On this contract, Toyon Research will do the work in Gold to Point Mugu and China Lake, California and Yuma, Arizona, 
and should be finished by March 2027. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe the channel. See you on the next videos.